Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and thank you for being here, really means a lot. Today I'm showing yet another new free add-on which really changes the game, especially for VR users. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say it, it is a game changer because what this is doing is really smoothing out all of those annoying stutters that we all hate in VR. Now you may have seen that I've already showcased a program called Auto FPS, which basically in a nutshell takes away some of those heavy hitter areas like level of detail, object level of detail, and dynamically adjust and change them depending upon the resources available on your computer. All you need to do is set the frame rate that you want to hit, which I would recommend 45 frames per second or 30, depending on your system, and let the program do the rest. So you may ask yourself, why am I showing another program that's doing the same thing? Well, not necessarily, because Smooth Flight has a real trick up its sleeve. You know, it's one thing to enjoy VR, but it's another thing trying to get rid of those micro stutters. And of course, we can't really reach 90 frames per second at the moment. And that is why I often recommend that you run half of the frame rate of your refresh rate, that being 45 frames per second. But even that is very hard to hit. Of course, I'm hitting it here because I have an RTX 4090. The reason why I recommend halving it is because then each frame has a consistency and is evenly spaced. Each frame has the same amount of screen time and it really makes it feel a lot smoother. The problem is though, is MSFS is so poorly optimized that the frame rate fluctuates all the time. And it's fair to say most people struggle to get even higher than 30 frames per second. Well, this is where Smooth Flight does its magic because what is happening is the frame rate smoothing feature, which you'll see on the screen now, is taking an average reading across multiple FPS samples and taking that into consideration when adjusting those valuable settings. The upshot is you are getting a much smoother experience across the ground, even without motion reprojection, which you know I harp on about all the time. The result is that weirdly 30 frames per second when looking down at the ground looks as smooth as 45 frames per second. It's really quite incredible stuff. And I've got to say a massive congratulations to the developer for implementing this. And keep in mind, this has only just been released and there's a lot of exciting new features coming to this very soon. And don't forget, I'm talking about a free add-on. Now he does have a donation link and I implore you to give him a donation to help support this software moving forward. Now, as you can see, we're currently on approach to Innsbruck in Sim Update 15 Beta, and it looks absolutely glorious inside the Pimax Crystal. I've also tested this, though, with the HP Reverb G2, the Vari Aero, and the Quest 3 with really nice results. And just a quick note that I must admit, I still feel there's far too much snow in the Alps, even with this uh, latest fix that Asobo have tried to implement. You know, we don't get so many frozen lakes, but the view is still far too white for my tastes. But this does give me a really good stress test because snow is actually very, very difficult for the system to handle without getting stutters. And you can see here, my frame rate is pretty damn solid. That's even with recording and upscaling to 4K so that I can show you this VR image at a decent level. Look at that view there. Absolutely spectacular. It really is. So even though I've just focused on one feature of Smooth Flight, there is other things that are really cool about this program. For instance, there is a landing and taxi mode. And what it does is, and this is similar to Auto FPS, but it does it slightly differently and more aggressively, is once you reach a certain altitude um, coming into approach, it will change the T-LOD and O-LOD values to something a lot lower. And by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm looking at the ground to see how smooth it feels and it does feel absolutely fantastic. But yeah, what it does is it will auto adjust at a certain level of altitude so that you don't get any stutters when I'm final. Now, what I have noticed is you do get one little stutter as the T-LOD changes very dramatically 
But then that is it, and it's a very slight stutter, and I'll show you this in a moment as we touch down. That may, you know, obviously improve as this piece of software matures, because as I say, this is in many ways early access to a free piece of software. I can't say this enough. This is free, guys. Amazing. And it will be interesting to sort of compare this to Auto FPS, um, and I might even do that as a separate video. But uh, either way, I think what I'd recommend for you guys is to try both of these very clever pieces of software. It's a great shame that Asobo hasn't implemented this into the sim itself because it would really help not just mid-tier computers but even beasts like mine running 4090s. We need every bit of help we can get because... You know, people moan about this sim and how it runs really bad in VR, but there is no piece of software out there that does what this is doing. Simulating real physics, the real world, in VR with these visuals, it's incredible. And I think sometimes we need to take a step back and realise that. But especially when you can see a view like that. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you'd like to see a more in-depth settings guide for this, please do let me know in the comments below. This is just a bit of a first look and first test, if you will, of Smooth Flight. For me personally, I actually prefer this over Auto FPS simply because it really focuses upon the frame rate smoothing feature, which in VR is absolutely invaluable. Now, as you can see here, it's just changing the T-LOD as we're just about at 22 feet there is a slight pause. I won't even call it a stutter as such, but you can just tell that something has changed. I'm hoping that can be sort of smoothed out better over time, but I think for a first release, it's pretty damn good. Let me know in the comments what do you think about all this, and again, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link in the description below of both of these programs, but for now, that will do. I'll see you again very soon. Have a great week, and bye for now.